Okay, so our objective for today's tutorial is students will be able to create a new Glogster. So the first thing you need to do is open up Internet Explorer and you are going to go to www.glogster.com. That's G L O G S T E R.com. When you go, it'll take you to the Glogster homepage. And in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a pink link that says Login. So you want to click Login. Since this is the first time you're logging in, your nickname is your ID number and your password is 1234. So my nickname is actually my name, but yours is going to be your student ID number, just like Moodle, and your password is 1234. Then you want to click Login. When you log in, it's going to take you to something called your dashboard. And your dashboard is pretty much just your home page. It's kind of where you can do everything. You can check your messages, <coughs> you can manage your blogs, everything. Yours might look a little bit different than mine since mine's the teacher account, but you should have a big pink button on there that says create new blog and you want to click that. It's going to take you to um, a basic blog that they kind of put together. Um, yours again might look a little bit different than mine um, and it could have some graphics and stuff already on it. So the first thing I want to show you is how to delete that stuff. Delete the stuff you don't want. So when I'm moving over my mouse, I can see that there's this picture here and I can click it and it gives me a lot of options. And one of them is a pink delete button. It's a pink trash can and I'm going to click that and delete that image. The next thing I want to do is create a new background. I don't like this background at all. So there's a little menu over here and you want to click where it says wall. And on the wall, these are all the background images that you can have on your Glogster wall. And they have them in different categories over here. So you can do something basic. I don't know what the basic ones look like. I guess that's just a blank page. Cute, let's see what's cute. Oh, those are cute. So if you see numbers down here, that means there's multiple pages and you can go and look. Oh, I like that one to the different pages. So find the one that you like and click it. And I'll show you a little preview over here on the right. And then if you like the way it looks, click the pink button that says use it. And you're gonna click use it and you see automatically that your wall changes. To get out of here, all you do is click the pink X and you're done. So now I have just a clean, plain background. Um, you can go through all of this stuff and play around today. I will be creating more tutorials showing you how to use each of the things. Um, but when you're done, to save it, you want to come up here to where it says Save or Publish and click that link. And I'll ask you um, to do a couple things. One is to name your blog. So you want to name it so you know kind of what that one is. If you make a lot of blogs, it's just to help you organize. So I'm going to name this one Purple because that's what it is. It'll help me remember that I have that purple background. It'll show you the link, your web address of your blog, so that's what you can send to like friends to share it. Um, you can choose a category. I'm not going to choose a category yet because I don't know what mine's about yet. And then the finishing thing. Do you want it to be made public where anybody can search and find it? Is it still unfinished or is it finished? Mine's unfinished, so I'm going to keep it checked at unfinished and then click save. Now this pops up. Um, I don't want to share it on my Facebook or anything like that, so I'm just going to go back to my dashboard. So when you're back to your dashboard, you can see right here that now it says you have one blog. And if you want to go back and edit that blog, all you do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of your page, and you'll have a little section that says your blogs. And look, there it is. My purple blog. It says it's unfinished and private. Um, and then I can go right here to where it says edit. 